And so I was down on the floor, said a few prayers, and uh, and then all of a sudden, everything exploded. Two hours of pure hell. Napalm, burning fires, bombs, armor-piercing bullets, rockets, cannons. I mean, we got so many holes blown in that ship from the rockets, it was ridiculous. I mean, it was divine intervention that the ship stayed afloat. Uh, the closer they got, I could tell, and I could see the Star of David flags on it. Israeli Defense Forces. I don't know why they call them defense, because they were attacking us. That's, that's when I knew that, you know, they were the enemy and, and not there to help us. And our government still supports that theory that it was a mistaken identity. There was no mistake in who we were. You knew this wasn't a mistake. There was no accident. It was absolutely a deliberate attack. I still have visions of it to this day. I still see the stretchers that are being brought over, but more than that, I see the body bags. 34 men killed, 174 men wounded. There was blood everywhere, just blood everywhere. Terrible, just terrible. And Congress just looked the other way. The United States is Israeli relationship, which began at that time, is based on fabrication and lies. It's just a shame that our government is afraid, actually afraid to tell the truth about what happened on June 8th, 1967, and those that were responsible for those actions.